another knowing what I know now, would I do the same thing? Would I still take the OSCP plus, which is what it is now, over the CPTS? In today's video, I'll be going over that and what I would do if I was doing everything from 2024 going into today. Um, would it be the same? Would it be different? Let's jump right in. So, as I said, if I was doing everything again, starting today with what I know with the market, um, knowing both of these exams trainings, knowing how some improved, some, in my opinion, went down, um, especially while they increased their price. Um, I'm going to go over my honest opinion on what I would do personally. I'm not telling you guys how to do it or what's the best way to do it, but this is what I would do if I had to do it again. Um, from my background, my experience, how I learn, um, what I felt was the best route for me to go. Um, I'm going to go over that in today's video. Now, I have not taken the OSCP since I got mine in June, mid-June mid of 2024. So they didn't have the OSCP Plus. I know, I think it did get announced uh, like that July or early August timeframe when they were going to switch to the OSCP Plus. The exam was going to change. There was no more, uh, not labs, but the extra credit points. And you were going to actually get credits to start like if you're already in the AD environment. So right there off the bat, without uh, you know just going over what they had put out at that time, um, the price also increased. It's obviously seventeen hundred dollars now. Uh, my thing is, why am I going to pay for an overpriced, glorified PCM Security PJPT exam? Uh, and I say that over glorified because I think you still get an extra two or three boxes. Uh, that did not. That kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I know everyone still wants to say OSCP is the standard. To a degree it is, but CPTS is coming a long way. However, you also got to keep in mind a fact that no one really talks about. Unless you are or have been a manager that has done this in the past, where you write your own job requisitions. A lot of managers for this day, for whatever reason, especially if they're niche specific, do not write their job recs. They'll give a simple copy and place plan to your HR business partner or recruiter. And it's still like, you know, you still see shit for pen tests asking for CEH, uh, security plus. And, you know, I mean, to a degree, even SANS is the same way. That's, that's an overpriced glorified CEH, uh, in my opinion. And I've only taken one of them for offensive security, the GWAPT. Um, you know, I, I, those multiple choices, you don't learn, you don't, uh, just for me, they just, anytime an organization gets, wants to get put into place doing business with the government, prices increase and the exams are shitty in my opinion. Um, and things that are ran by the government, 99.9 .9 aren't ran well. Um, especially, you know, um, I mean, that's just the nature of the game. They're, they're they are not business people that don't know how to run things. So. Um, and yes, I know I was in the military, so I, I've seen that firsthand. I did not mesh well with chain of command bullshit. Um, so back to the nature of this video. Um, for me, I'm going to go through this. I haven't looked at it. Like I said, just what they put out sporadically. Um, I did not, uh, you know, go through it ever since then. Once they officially revamped and added this to their actual website, there was no need for me to. Um, so the OSCP plus standalone exam, uh, pen testing, testing exam requires holders to successfully attack, pen penetrate various live machines in a safe lab environment. Okay, now let's go back. The OSCP plus expires after three years, representing learners' commitment to continuing education in the complex cybersecurity space. So you want me to pay $1,700 for this exam, knowing that about 85% of job managers, for whatever reason, do not do their own job requisitions. Recruiters, especially, there are some that are a few that go to happy hours, conferences, events that understand the cybersecurity space. There are a few. There are a few that do that. 
that aren't going to put bullshit exams or they're going to know what people are talking about, right? Um, but for the most part, they're just going to go copy and paste, ask a friend, copy and paste, change this out, change this word out, this buzzword, this what, you know, whatever. Knowing that this is, one second, let me mute my teams before this goes off. Knowing that, uh, you know, it, this exam, you're going to have to, especially if you want to do it every three years to keep the plus, knowing offset history, I don't see it staying up to date. And especially, you know, I, they got forced to change their model, especially on the exams with TCM coming out. Hack the box, uh, Pwn Labs. You had a Cloud Breach IO uh, even before Pwn Labs. Uh, you know, Altered Security branched off of Pentest Academy. Um, so you had a couple of all these, you know, giving them competition, and rightfully so. So I don't see them. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. The next update after after three years from when did it come out? November. So November of 2027. Um, I want to see how the exam is or what people say the exam is. Um, is there certified AD? Is there a lot of bloody AD? Like stuff that is relevant. Um, utilizing some of the new methods and the new uh, Docker Sharp Hound, uh, Sharp Hound, Bloodhound. Uh, you know, some of the, the newer tools, Soap Hound, stuff like that. If that's not in the exam, this next runaround in 2027, whatever is relevant into AD, let's just say AD is pretty much for whatever reason just evaporated and it's an intra now. It better be like that, especially if you're paying this kind of money. Um, again, includes two exam attempts. There are no course materials included as a part of this product. This certification, once achieved, will be valid for three years. So I don't even know if you get to keep the lifetime one anymore because uh, that was one of the things. Uh, oh, okay, I guess you do. So what are the prerequisites for OSCP? Um, still pretty much, everything's pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I stand on the OSCP. I'm not talking about their other certs. I'm talking about, when I talk offsec, I'm talking about mainly the OSCP because people look at that as a standalone to come in. Um, now hack the box, the different people want to argue that there's no videos in hack the box for CPTS. True. There isn't. Um, and some people do require videos. However, those videos when I did the OSCP were fucking horrible. Um, it was just a layered overall, layered AI voice or computer voice reading the material. That's all it was. There was no different scenarios. There was no different. It didn't say anything different. It didn't say anything to spark my mind to, oh, I didn't think of it this way kind of thing. It was just reading the PDF straightforward. Now, for the CPTS, it is longer, it is harder, the training is more thorough, um, and the good thing about this, too, is you get about 55, 60% of the web or the bug bounty in this module. So that's pretty much, and then you get, you know, the cubes, I believe you'll have enough to even um, finish off the bug bounty uh, pathway completely, if I remember correctly. And all I had to do was pay $210 for the... Uh, the voucher but for this this is actual hands-on um the way it's structured is and trust me i'm one for videos as well I, I was like damn this does not have no videos but the way it's structured it is really good um and if i could do it without any videos and me kind of like you know almost panicking because there's no videos and, and i do need some different aspects or elements to the training outside of just reading especially when it comes to fan testing to understand some of the concepts I was really impressed with this. Uh, all of them so far. Uh, the only one I haven't, the pathways I haven't really, uh, I haven't done at all was is the CWEE. Um, but it is really, really good. And the thing is, like I said, it's very thorough, very granular on, on a lot of these key concepts and they updated as needed. I, I think there's like two or three of them that have been added or updated and or updated. Um, and the good thing is once you get hundred percent and there's an update, you'll see your, your, you'll see your bar go down to like, Oh, see, I got 99.2. So there was another update that I didn't do. You get to do those updates for free. Uh, as long as you got the, you, you passed the exam. So you'll see the bar come down a, a couple notches. And then, you know, that means that there's an update to the actual pathway. So that keeps you relevant to going back to training on some of the stuff that's new that they put out, which they do 
every period, every period, you know, there, there is an update. Um, I forgot the last one was some kind of password attack or brute force password. I, I forgot the name of it, but it was something around those lines. But the thing with this one is, again, it's thorough. It's a full actual exam. You get 10 days. However, the 10 days will creep up on you, especially if you have life, family, full-time job. That will, that will get you in the long run if you do not plan your time management well for this exam. Um, each reportings are going to be different. Styles are going to be different. Same with TCM. All three of them are different. Uh, I failed the, this one, and I also failed TCM's reporting twice. So uh, just be mindful of that. Make sure you go through the reportings on both exams, whichever one you, you decide to take or go for. Um, but I think, in my opinion, CPTS right now, especially if you, even outside, if you go to the job recs, right? You ask someone that is in this field, if you had a chance to hire someone fresh off the boat, CPTS or OSCP plus, which one would you take? Without, you know, looking out that background. 99.9 .9 are going to say CPTS. At least the people that I have asked personally, um, they would say CPTS. So again, there's a lot of things out there um, to keep in mind. Is number one, right? People are, are the mainstream. Most people are going to say OSCP, OSCP plus is your, is still technically the standard, which if you look outside, not having granular knowledge or experience being in those fields, Yes, you will say that. What I mean by having granular, granular knowledge and being experienced in those fields is the HR recruiting, HR business partner department. I never was HR, I never was an HR recruiter, but I work hand in hand with those uh, teams, being business partners that is a, you know, on your team, how you want to grow, if you have any issues, et cetera. Having your recruiter that does your job requisition. Knowing how they work, a lot of them do not, a lot of managers do not write their own job requisitions. A lot of the recruiters do not have any experience or expertise or knowledge base in these fields. There, however, there are a slight few that do, and you'll see them at happy hour, uh, cybersecurity happy hours like ISSA. Um, uh, some of the, these, they go to the DEF CON meetups, meetups or the conferences. They go there because they are really intrigued and interested and they want to do the best job for their. Uh, you know, the teams that they are providing the service for. I'm not saying the others don't, but these ones are, these are the different, like they'll, you ask them the difference between the, the exams, even some of the SANS, they'll tell you right off the bat. So my point is, you know, without getting on a, on a rant is you have to make sure you take into account that there's a lot of, a lot of people that do not write their own job requisitions. And as a, as being a former manager, senior manager, that is a big issue because you're just going to get some copy and paste template with a couple buzzwords or change out an exam here or there because you do more web or API than external or Wi-Fi, whatever the case. That's the only things that's going to change in these job. I mean, you could go to job rec to job rec, and especially in the tech industry, you're going to see a lot of them look the same. It's a lot of friends that are HR, HR recruiter friends, and they just they have these probably templates that are you know copy and paste, cookie cutter, move some keywords buzzwords and, and exams around and that's it so for me i ain't, I ain't even going to bother with the oscp i am going uh you know and again this is from my experience starting off where i did not as a beginner i'm going i'm going to switch it up because i did T, uh, the tcm one after oscp um i'm going to go pmpt into cpts and if I can in parallel or after CPTS, I'm going to do their bug bounty for web uh, because web is, was my, my, is my lowest one still, that, uh, knowledge base wise. So that's, that's my pathway. And then after that, you could divvy on to, uh, or I would divvy on it whether I want to go pen testing or red team. I obviously chose red team. So, um, you know, that would, be, that would be my plan of attack. Now, again, don't take my word for it. Do your research. DEFCON and Black Hat are coming up. Um, you don't even have to, if, if you're not going, you know, local B-sides or even on LinkedIn, just reach out to some recruiters that, um, you know, when you go on some of these jobs on LinkedIn, just say, hey, do you, how do you look or how do you do your job requisition? Um, they might not tell you. They might like, oh, that's kind of an odd question. But just go and get a feel. Like I said, always, I did a video, why you should always have recruiters as your, as the same as, as being networking, uh, you know, with 
future o- offensive security managers, coworkers. Always network with recruiters as well because you'll get the inside tips. And, and, you know, being, again, a senior regular, just a manager, senior manager, I know how this stuff works. So, and seeing it again, a lot of the OSCP stuff is just cookie cutter. It's just copy and paste on there. But if you go and actually ask these uh, offensive security managers or directors or whatever, uh, people that have the actual hands-on, most of them, at least from my experience, will say they'll take someone with the CPTS over OSCP any day. So again, that would be my path. Uh, I would take CPTS. I'm not even going to bother with OSCP, um, for, especially for the cost. It doesn't make sense, right? The, it's just an over-glorified um, PJPT. I'm going to get better value and bang for my buck doing this uh, PCM security. Even if you're going to do the the junior one, the junior and the PMPT, you're still going to come out on top Um, and then go straight to the CPTS bug bounty. You're probably going to have some cash left over as long as you don't fail any exams. Um, And you don't have to, you know, rebuy the vouchers. And then after that, you could piggyback if you want to go more into pen testing, cloud or and or red teaming. You know, that's I went to the red teaming route. Now I got to divvy back on and go finish my web stuff this year, uh, which is my goal. So for me, I'm taking CPTS all day. I'm not doing the OSCP plus at all. Uh, and again, I'm only doing saying that for OFSEX OSCP plus. Um, I'm still going to do the OSEP, OSWE, and then I want to do the OSED sometime next year. I, my goal was to get that challenge coin, uh, OSCE3 um, certification. So that is my end goal. Uh, once I made the full switch into cybersecurity. So I, I am looking forward to accomplishing that. But again, this is my ex- from my experience on what I would do again, knowing what I, I did in, on my certification path. I would not even bother with the OSCP+. Plus. I'm going CPTS all the way. And again, that's my opinion with my experience. I'm not telling you guys to do that. I'm just saying what I would do. So that's the video, guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I will be going live Wednesday for another box. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Have a good one.